Welcome to Emic Training, Growth with Creativity and Challenge. Delivering effective feedback is a key tool within the leader's armory. The problem with feedback is that it's often regarded as negative or bad feedback. To overcome this stigma, I would like you to please consider the word developmental instead of the word negative feedback. Developmental feedback implies I care about you and I want you to grow and develop. I want to unlock your potential. And therefore, if we're not going to use negative feedback, perhaps we should consider not using positive feedback either. Perhaps the word to use is motivational feedback. I'm giving you this feedback because you're doing a good job and I want you to understand how I recognize and appreciate you and therefore it's motivational feedback. So let's change our attitude about feedback. Feedback should either be developmental or motivational. Understanding that basic principle, let's now move on to feedback process. The first thing when giving feedback is we should give an example, i.e. what was said and done in time and space. We should actually take the individual back to the very time and place where a motivational or developmental opportunity occurred so that they understand exactly what it is we're talking about and they can specifically connect with that situation. Once we've given an example, we then need to move on to the effect. The key here is to take ownership of your feedback and you do that by using the I word. And you can use the I word by demonstrating to the individual the effect that their behaviour had on you as an individual. After the effect, we can then move on to the change. If it's developmental feedback, we are looking for a change. We can either coach that change by asking them, what do you think you should do to develop? Or we can tell them the action that we would like to see them take moving forward. The next one is continue. When we talk about continuing a practice or behaviour, we're talking about motivational feedback. And again, we can either coach, why do you think you should continue with this motivational behaviour? Or we can tell them to keep up the good work. So a very effective but simple tool of giving developmental or motivational feedback. Give the example, then give the effect that it had on you as an individual. If it's developmental feedback, ask them for a change by either coaching or telling. If it's motivational feedback, again, using the coaching or tell technique, reinforce the positive merits of continuing with the motivational behaviour. Emic Training. Growth with creativity and challenge.